Mr. Greystone's second guide on the Francis Francis X1 coffee machine. Uh, today I want to show you all the bits and pieces uh, to give you a bit of an overview of all the parts and uh, what they all do. So to start off the on off switch. This light uh, illuminates when the machine is turned on. This light illuminates when water has reached the correct temperature for our coffee. This is the temperature gauge. On it you will notice two little icons. The top one is a coffee cup. The bottom one is steam. And the gauge will go to the coffee cup to say when it's ready and the light will illuminate. Over to this side of the machine we have two switches. Coffee icon underneath. Steam icon underneath. So basic operation, we turn the machine on, we wait for the temperature to reach coffee temperature and then that's when we can operate this switch and water will come out of this area. So over on this side of the machine is the knob for controlling the steam. I will just turn the machine round. Um, so when the machine is up to steam temperature and the steam switch will be switched into place the steam knob is turned allowing steam to come out of the steam wand. So when we finished we turn clockwise and turn off. At the rear of the machine is the water reservoir take out and fill with water. It's always best to use filtered water, not chilled. This is the pipe that takes the water to the boiler. Just place it in, slide back into position, nice and easy. So turning the machine around again. The drawer at the front is called the drip tray, which opens up and collects any drips. Now that can just be cleaned and slide back in again. And the tray that covers it is also removable for cleaning. So this is the coffee handle and um, these are the filters. Now if you're just having one cup uh, we choose the single cup filter and if you're having two cups of espresso we choose the double cup. So insertion is easy, just push in clips into place. Notice at the other end is the spout. Single spout for one cup is just pushed on. As such. So you'll notice on the handle there's two lugs. This allows us to position it in the filter holder. And we turn round and pull it all the way across. So the last thing to show you is, uh, is the top area and uh, this is the area for warming cups. Once the boiler inside gets hot, the heat rises and you can actually warm your cups on the top here. So. Okay, so now I've shown you around the machine, the next guide from Craystone will actually get onto the interesting bits and show you how quick and easy it is to make an espresso. So, see you then, bye! <laughs>